the last series of videos in which I talked about record, I mean, exporting for the web or resizing your images for Blackboard in this case. So this video is about how you actually create your thread in Blackboard. So of course you've already done your enrollment verification, but go to Course Materials Discussion Board. And if for some reason you do not see this side window because perhaps you're on your phone or your tablet, just toggle it out. Um, and you go to Discussion Board and you choose on Project 1. Okay, and then you're going to go to Create Thread. And you'll see what you need in this thread a very basic breakdown and under subject just go ahead and put your name right um, and you scroll down yep you sure do scroll down and you can enter full screen mode here you can make this window bigger if you want by dragging this corner you have all sorts of editing options for your text. Feel free to, to include videos, uh, whatever you want to do. It's all, all fine. Uh, for, the, for the purposes of this video, though, I'm going to go ahead and type in uh, just these words, because you need words for the chain icon to work. And I do encourage you to write far more than that, but for the this is just for the demo here. So for my photographer, I want to provide a link to the photographer I found that I like. There's so many amazing photographers. Just pick one you like, that or whose work just resonates with you. And what you're going to do is highlight the text, and you're going to come up here to this little chain icon. That means you're going to make a link it says insert edit link and click on the chain you'll get a pop-up and the link path is the actual link to your site and I just looked up Jack Spencer because I was thinking about this work which is really beautiful I'm going to copy that and go back to Blackboard Oops, go back to my pop-up. Here it is. Go back to my pop-up. And I'm just going to paste in the link path. And that's the link to that particular photographer. So then I will put open in new window. That way you're not having to go back and forth in Blackboard. Uh, it just opens in a new window and you can look at it. And I'll type in this. This helps people uh, to have screen readers to know what they're looking at. So, or you can, it'll, it'll also appear if you want to put in a, a title for your picture, it will actually appear when you hover over it. So you push insert, and now this will be blue because it's a link. It will not work until after you submit it. Same thing with my blog. So I'm going to highlight my blog, go to the chain icon, and I quickly, I've never used Wix, but I quickly made a Wix website. Um, it's fairly simple to do. Um, and so Let's see, I'm going back to my thread, and again, my pop-up window I'm searching for. Move this so you can see it, and I'm going to paste this in. And again, open a new window. Uh, website. And insert. And so again, so it turns blue. I think it's right. Um, so, and I wanted to make a note that if you are hey, using Weebly, it'll be um, formatted. They'll send you an email, but 
in case you know, it's Weebly is pretty easy to, to, to use. So, but it's going to be formatted like this. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash username dot or Tumblr. There's, that's how it's formatted. I need to say that because, of course, you would put your username in there because it, it you can't copy and paste it. It takes you to your, sort of the back end of your website. So that's how you do Tumblr or Weebly links. Okay. Um, then I'm going to want to write some things about myself. You know, you, you did the walkabout, so you're, you're doing your walkabout images, your favorite ones, and you edit them however you like. And uh, um, you want to have a self-portrait. Um, you know, obviously I'm going to shorten this because it's a video and we'd be here forever if I typed on it. I'm Sherry Whitehead, um, et cetera, et cetera. Say whatever you want about yourself. And you're going to use this mountain, insert, edit image. This will make it visible in the post. This paper clip is for mainly like files. Uh, if you're in English class and you need to submit a paper, that you might you would use this. But for our, we want to see our images, so we're going to use this little, it looks like a mountain star icon to me. I call it the mountain icon. And you click this, and you browse your computer. And in this case, uh, let's see, I already made, I already resized this, so you can see it says 800 for this long edge. Um, so I am going to put in this as my self-portrait. You'll get a little, little preview. Um, and you do want to put in the description uh, and title. Again, this helps people with uh, screen, they have screen readers, and um, I would greatly appreciate it if you would do that. I'm going to quicken this up. Um, there it is in my post, and I've clicked to the right of this, and I'm going to push return, return, and then you can write uh, whatever you want. Because you're doing a walkabout and you want to tell us what you encountered or who you encountered or description of what you encountered. Uh, that's really helpful sort of in the telling of, of this little walkabout story. And it, it, unfortunately in Blackboard you have to do each image individually. And you only have to do this a couple times, uh, a few times during the semester so you know it is what it is. Okay, you browse your computer and you let's say I saw this quote which was really cool. I'm going to put that in there. Again, push insert. And there it is. Um, the heart is born knowing what it takes a lifetime for a, a mind, the mind a lifetime to learn. It's a quote by Joe Henry. Um, it's really cool. I like this quote. It was carved on a rock, or etched into a rock. Okay. And uh, again, I'm going to quickly go through this. Browse my computer. Um, this is a cool bird that flew by, a black bird. And insert. And they're just going through this process really quickly. Um, spider, saw a spider. And you know, in life and and otherwise, I would actually really dive into sort of the meaning of. Uh, of, of the things that I've seen. Uh, write more about that too, or where you were, what you felt like, what you encountered. Uh, 
All right, just going through this process again. I'm not quite sure how many images I've put in. There's a little dragonfly because dragonflies have been everywhere right now. So I just uh, took a picture of a dragonfly. Okay, how many is that? Someone's keeping track. Okay, let's just 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 let's just stop there. I'm gonna push submit, and I can go back to my post. And there it is. Um, you can see your images. Everyone can see them. And uh, it's like a little animal theme I have going here right now. Um, <clears throat> so I feel very fortunate when I have encounters with animals. Uh, it's not my primary picture taking mode, um, but I also wanted to show you that um, you can always go back and edit your post. You can also delete your post if it doesn't have any replies. Let's just say everything went wrong and no pictures are showing up and nothing went right. You can just delete it up until the point where people have um, replies. You can reply to your give feedback to your classmates with the reply button. That's where you do that. And if I want to edit this. I would just open it again, make this window bigger, or go to full screen again. And suppose I want to select everything and uh, center it, for example, or add more text. Whatever you want to do. This is, a, is, this is your post. Um, so you do your thing. And so I have um, made everything so that you can change your font, your font size, whatever you want to do. Um, just make your post. Uh, this is all you need. It's just the resized images, five of them. Some words would be great. And again, submit. Now I have a, everything centered and I could have put a title up here. So I try not to ramble too much, but that's it. That's how you do your Blackboard post. It's really fast, uh, fairly easy. After you've done your editing and everything, it doesn't take long. So don't worry about it, okay? All right, and remember to check out your announcements. Um, there's going to be a lot of stuff there. Um, and there we go. All right, you all be well. I'll talk to you soon.